Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-1908, also known as Mr. Soapy. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And yes, this is the next one in the Little Mystery series, and this one looks a little bit longer than it actually is. Let's get right into this. SCP-1908, Level 2 Restricted, Containing Class Euclid. SCP-1908, State of Rest. I think we're just going to skip right past that picture. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1908 is to be held within a waterproofed containment cell that has been outfitted with a standard-sized bathtub. It will be provided at 40 grams of soap flakes a day for sustenance. As for current regulations regarding Mr. Anomalies, the Anomaly cell has been situated in Hall 34B of Site 55. That was a different site before. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly. Anyway. Media may not be brought into contact with SCP-1908 without the approval of Dr. Everwood. Newly obtained in SCP-1908-B and SCP-1908-C, sent Instances are to be examined and transcribed by NOUSAIC. Then sorted in Site 55's Anomalous Media Archive. Direct viewing of SCP 1908V and SCP 1908C instances is strictly prohibited. Cleaning staff are restricted from entering SCP 1908's containment cell. It has been allowed to maintain the cleanliness of its space. If SCP-1908 is observed to become especially discontent, up to 1 kg of dirt is to be dispersed about cell for enrichment purposes. <laughs> okay. Description. SCP-1908 is a sapient mass of opaque white-blue soap water that is approximately 190 liters in volume. The anomaly can locomote can locomote by rolling itself. The anomaly can move by rolling itself across the ground in a roughly spherical mass. Though maintaining this shape appears to be particularly taxing. Consequently, SCP-1908 generally prefers to remain stationary within a within an appropriate size container. To interact with its environment in more complex manners, SCP-1908 will partially coalesce itself into portions of human anatomy, SCP-1908-A. When the anomaly is not consciously exerting control over SCP-1908-A, particularly during its regular periods of dormancy, it just will manifest and demanifest at random intervals. Upon being questioned about this phenomenon, SCP-1908 displays significant frustration with its in inability to fully regulate its own body. Hmm. Approximately 5% of SCP-1908-A instances generate with a tattoo printed somewhere on their surface, each being a variation of the words Mr. Bathroom Low Misters by Dr. Entertainment. 85% of all noted tattoo manifestations, the name Mr. Bath was replaced by Mr. Wash, Mr. Scrub, Mr. Water, Mr. Clean, Mr. Bubble, and or Mr. No More Boat. At no point has any variation of Mr. Soap been observed on an SCP-1908-A instance. But that is their name. The anomaly was first discovered when it appeared at Site 50... He finds primary entrance with an ornate off foot bathtub and aisoned with Dr. Entertainment's logo. SCP 1908 CEO1 was subsequently found floating within SCP 1908. Addendum 1908 1. A dot orientated oriented media that comes into physical contact with SCP-1908 becomes an SCP-1908-B instance. 
SCP-1908 begins to dislike any form of mature language, violence, or bloodshed, regardless of ritual subject matter. Their tone is lightened and upbeat, with conflicts that are firmly resolved by usage of Dr. Entertainment brand products. Perceiving an SCP-1908 V instances contents for more than three minutes will result via death in death via arterial air embolism, which appears to be caused by a manifestation of soap battle of soap levels within the bloodstream. <sighs> SCP-1908-B incense, The Shining, 1980. Alterations. The primary conflict of the narrative revolves around Jack Torrance focusing on work above spending time with his family. At no point in his history is his history of addiction or physical abuse alluded to. A majority of the film's runtime is devoted to a series of splat F6 pranks that Danny Torrance plays on his father with the aid of spirits of the Overlook Hotel, who are portrayed as 2D animation, bedsheet goes. During the famous All Work and No Play makes Jack a dull voice scene, Whitney Torrance brought her parents away from the typewriter to look directly into the camera. She proceeds to praise the super paper that Jack Torrance has been typing on, describing its many favorable traits for several minutes. The film ends with, Tor with the Torrance family He's celebrating Christmas together in which they receive various Dr. Wonder Entertainment brand gifts. Super paper. Excuse me for a second. 4.45. Okay. We can read about that another time. Wait, the site loads back up. There we go. Child-oriented media that contacts SCP-1908 becomes an SCP-1908-C instance. Unlike SCP-1908-B, SCP-1908-C's alterations are generally unpredictable. No pattern between instances has yet been discerned. SCP-1908-C instance Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory 1971 Alterations. The child actor portraying Charlie Bucket Peter or Ostrom frequently struggles to remember his lines and choreography, often needs to be prompted from off screen. Gene Wilder, portraying the titular Willy Wonka, appears to be incensed by Ostrom's mistakes, periodically breaking character to berate him, likely contradicting the real Peter Ostrom's experiences, who has claimed the wider was respectful during. In filming, Ostrom falls into the chocolate river during the belt ride sequence and is not seen for the remainder of the film, which continues on as though he is still present. SCP 1908C Incense Clifford the Big Red Dog by Norman Bridgewell. All illustrative and textual depictions of Clifford are expunged from the book with black marker. No other alterations have been noted. Addendum 1908 2 SCP 1908 C01 SCP 1908 C01 is a picture book without a cover or a title page. Its illustrations seem to have been made with pencil and watercolors. Consequently, water damage from a subversion in SCP 1908 has rendered them largely illegible. Shortly after SCP 19 1908 discovery, junior researcher Eugene Gray a read SCP-1908-C1 for approximately 41 seconds and is asphyxiated. 5.5 liters of soap water were discovered in his lungs. SCP-1908-C01 transcript Little misters, near and far, do you know just who they are? Mr. Hungry likes to eat, Mrs. Sweet's none too sweet. Mr. Money grants your wish, that talking, car that talking carp is Mr. Fish. Mr. Moon turns in night, Mr. Chameleon's made of light. Mr. Stripes hides words away, Mr. Mad's nowhere, no way. Mr. Scary's full of rust, 
Redacted is one you trust. Mr. Hot and Mr. Loss walks. Mr. Soap dwells in the drips of the drops. Mr. Safey bends and Mr. Brass breaks. Mr. Forgetful just takes and takes. Mr. Headless sees and Mr. Laugh sighs. Mr. Death lives and Mr. Life dies. Last is read by far the worst. A Mr. Spurned, a Mr. Cursed. Flee if you see him, hide if he calls. If I am the pride, then he is the fall. Little misters, big and small. Find them, find them, collect them all. The final page of SCP 1908C01 appears to have been a fixed book after it was published. Wow, you've just found yourself your very own little mister, a limited collection, a limited edition collection from Doctor One Entertainment. Find them all and become Mister Collector. One, Mister Chameleon. Two, Mister Headless. Three, Mister Laugh. Four, Mister Forgetful. Five, Mister Shapey. Six, Mister Soap. Hey, that's what we're reading now. Seven, Mister Hungry. Eight, Mister Brass. Nine, Mister Hot. Ten, Miss Sweet. Eleven, Mister Life and Mister Death. Twelve, Mister Fish. 13. Mr. Moon. 14. Mr. Red. Discontinued. 15. Mr. Money. 16. Mr. Lost. 17. Redacted. 18. Mr. Mad. 19. Mr. Scary. And 20. Mr. Stripes. Let the 1908-3 interview log. Interviewed. SCP-1908. Interviewer Dr. J. Everwood. For the duration of the interview, SAP 1908 speaks in a labored, halting manner. Hello, SAP 1908. How are you doing today? Not very good. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. I'd like to ask you some questions if you're feeling up to it. I can do that. Great. First, do you know what happens to me that you you come into contact with? Yes, I wash away all the dirty things, the unsafe things for children. Make it clean and safe and consistent with the brand. That's why I'm Mr. Soap. <sighs> About that, we've noticed that your name was on your paper, but not on any of your tattoos. Why is that? I'm still practicing. I used to have a different name. It's hard to adjust. Oh, what were you previously called? Mr. Blue. Spelled with two U's. I see. Can you tell me why it changed? The doctor. He rebranded me. When I couldn't do my old job anymore. Me and my brother, we were the first official Mr. Little Misters. A matching set, complimentary, you know? We weren't the first to be made, but the first to be shown to investors. A proof of concept to help fund the rest. Hang on. Gotta check something. I don't remember what number. Yeah, okay. But I don't know who the first to be made was. But the doctor 
She had to make us perfect. What do you mean, she? Are you still talking about the same person? I'm just gonna go on a limb and just say that um, Dr. One Entertainment isn't really a person, it's an entity. I don't understand the question. Never mind, please continue. The doctor changed us so many times, so many alterations to make us perfect for the investors. They didn't understand what it would do to us. It made my brother go wrong. And made me go broken. You think you're broken? I am broken. When the doctor branded me. Things were fine for a little while. I made stories safer for kids and helped clean up. And once I even got to sing a song about how to wash your hands. 629, okay. But nothing I clean is safe anymore. And I'm bad at talking. And I get tired too easily. And the children are all scared of me. I'm just not market viable. I think the doctor could fix me if he changed me again, but she's afraid I'll go wrong like my brother, so they sent me here instead. Is that what Dr. Entertainment told you? Silence. SCP 1908? Silence. Mr. Soap? Huh? Did you hear what I said? I'm sorry. I'm just really tired. Only one more question then. Can you tell me what your brother's name was? The one that went wrong? You don't want to know anything about him. You don't want to even see him. What makes you say that? Trust me. Nobody likes seeing red. Honestly. This has me interested in who red is and what their deal is. I think Ingrid makes me all the more excited to read their little story when we get to it. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!